Hey y'all, and welcome on back. We got a uh, problem to deal with. Let's use some experience. Um, hmm. Yeah. So, full disclosure, this is actually take two because I got a little sloppy there at the end and wasted the entire run because it just sent me back to the uh, checkpoint Look from leaving there. Made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? Fester did your brain. Good at knowing when I'm wanted. Oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. <sighs> Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. Interesting choice either way. Well, if it isn't nasty, dude. Nasty, dude? Hey, I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect. Because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? Ah, but your personage was told to me your nastiness was shown to me by the little golden ghoul. Ah, oh, shit, I'm Alcavian. And you ran into Knox, too. You guys must have had quite a conversation. Not a working brain cell between the two of you. Oh, well. Bertram Tongue, the nasty dude. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. Well, survive I did. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I seeketh the House of Wares. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Ah, secrets and sickness. Tell me of the Sabbat. The Sabbat? Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat... They glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. And of the hapless humans? As far as I can tell. The humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Do they know of the Dark Masters? Yeah. The Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Can you bring me to this house where shoes of the air and feathers? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, <clears throat> and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Well, light the way for me, your darkness. Or dudeness. Alright. I got six experience. I could increase my sneak ability, but I don't want to raise anything over three. Or raise anything past three at this point just yet. So I guess we'll just hold on to that. <clears throat> Let's go on and show off this kill animation. Now, there are multiple ways to get yourself out to the area proper. Could pull this plank off the wall. Could see some weird white artifacting that barely shows up on OBS. 
could lockpick this door. Good, just sneak your way up to this poor hapless gum and snap his neck. Nothing doing on over here, though. The door's locked, by the way. It's very easy. How do, bum? What am I stuck on? A can. Okay. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? Let me get the shit. You changed to a tire iron. Well, let's pick that up. Cell fodder. I believe this is a lockpick four. Yep. Gonna snag this. Actually, no. Wow. Okay. Hey, you see something out there? Where? Out there in the train. I swear I saw something moving. Ain't nothing out here. You just scared them, John. What? Shit, I ain't scared of nothing. I'm scared for whoever decides to come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waving that thing around. Fucking explosives all over the place. You trying to blow us up or something? Now we're fucking Come here. I thirst for the crimson Kool-Aid. Free lockpick if you don't have it. You, come hither. I thirst. I said I thirst. Thou shalt not deny me my Christmas Kool-Aid. Just me getting a snack, don't worry about it. Let's make a snack of you as well. Come here. Let me eat you. Fine. Die. I'll just eat your friends.
Yeah, I don't have at the moment uh, the stealth capacity to be able to do this pure stealth like, but honestly, I don't really need it. There are many ways to play this game. Many ways to deal with problems. your blood. Think of it as a charitable donation. Don't want to plant that just yet. Check around everywhere. So if you do have high enough stealth, you can clear everybody out in that main floor and that will keep it from uh, closing the door. So you can just walk out of this place if you do it right. But there are alternate paths you can take. have to kill my lunch dude I'm a caught on hey, stop, man. just gonna go on and clear this place out while I can That is a pretty quiet generator, if I do say so myself. And I do. And I did. Oh, full up on shot of ammo. Might as well go on and show it off. Let's reload the Ithaca. Okay, if you want any kind of effectiveness with it, though, you need to get right up in their face. Honestly, it's much better off just being used as cell, uh, cell fodder. Though, for the purposes of escaping this place, I will be making use of it. As a quick note, though, with lockpicking six, we can open this door. And within this door, 
we get a small ammo depot. Not much else. Go on and finish clearing my path. I'm going here. Let me drink you. And there we go. So there are many ways that you can escape. This is going to be the route I take. That'll lead out down over here. Ain't that pretty. Alright. Let's go plant those explosives and make a just fucking run for it. Arm in the astrolite. Time to run. We got three minutes to escape. Which... Is actually not that difficult. But... Stop following me. There's a lot of ways that you can... Uh, a lot of things you can utilize to escape. For example, just doing that. And now we are out of the uh, warehouse. Uh, I need to go this way. With more than two minutes to spare. Uh, if you did something, if you did it right, you could have the garage doors over there stay open. But things being done, warehouse blown up. Wolf come charging in. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume. Werewolf! <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. No final death for me? I hadn't planned on it. Who are you, Big Rad Wolf? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me. Have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I see dead people. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. On the beach, there is a, uh, uh, their blood was thinner than water. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred, hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Uh, the Baron sisters are two minds with one face. Something to look forward to, eh? Eh, that's all I care to share. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Probably. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Sounds about right. 
Goodbye, Senior Wolf. What to do, Bertram? Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know of Beckett, the noble savage? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Uh, we traded some words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. So I could ask him a bunch of questions about various clans and whatnot, downtown. but Prince let's move on. Gonna want to hear all about this victory. The yellow submarine is waiting. <laughs> Crab nipples, indeed. Let's head downtown next time.